man, the Eagles have cut Nigel Bradham. Pretty much freeing up, I think, about four and a half million dollars in cap space. And you know what? I'm not mad. Not even the slightest. Sure, our linebackers are very thin. But you know what? If we're going to talk about moving off in 2017, and like it or not, Eagles fans, our glory days in 2017 is over. Yes, we got a ring. Nigel Bradham was part of that. But at the same time, them glory days are over. All right. You know, if we want to if we want to go for number two, possibly be a dynasty or whatever, we need to start making moves now. All right. We need to move on from several players. That's just not living up to the hype. That's taking that's taking that money, not doing anything in the end. So, you know, us cutting Nigel Bradham um, in a way. Yes. In a way, it kind of sucks because I did like Nigel Bradham. But at the same time, you know, it's it's all business in the end. We need to free up cap space. We're, we're moving off in 20, uh, 2017. You know, he's he's promising confetti falling. I mean, I'm not saying this year or next year or whatever, but for as long as he's here, I have a good feeling we could have some more confetti falling. And I'm not talking about, you know, you know, I'm talking about hoisting another Lombardi trophy. And I'm not, I'm not saying it's going to happen now, next year, or it can not happen, no Eagles fans. But in order to do that, we need to make moves now while we can, while we have like almost, if not more than 10 draft picks. So, I mean, our linebackers are officially thin, no doubt about it, but Nigel Bradham just wasn't that guy. I mean, you know, it's no shade towards him. You know, I want to wish him the best of luck wherever he goes. I don't care where you go, even if it's in the same division, but I want to wish him the best of luck, but all I care about is what goes on with the logo, and I want us to be 10 times better. Sometimes we got to move on from several players, you know, that, you know, that we all, you know, really like and all, but I want to win games. I want to be very competitive in the future. Our defense have not been good at all. Our two main positions that really sucked was our secondaries and our linebackers. So um, as long as we can draft somebody young, and that has a very promising future, I ain't tripping about it. So like I said before, I'm on board for Howie Roseman. I trust him. And, um, you know, we'll see what happens in the end. So, I mean, it's either you trust him or you don't trust him, or it's either you're on board or you're not on board, you know. So let's see if he can really prove us that Joe Douglas wasn't, you know, 100% the reason why Howie Roseman really had this magic. So that's what I'm going to say for now. So... That's all I got to say. Um, Shemaine, does you check on out of here? It is fly equals fly. Nigel Bradham got cut. We'll see what goes on from there. Take it easy. Have a beautiful time.